a short-faced bear, armed with a better smelling mechanism, and operating in open country, might be able to find a carcass within a six-mile radius. But taking possession of a carcass wasn't just as simple as finding it. Usually, there was another apex predator connected to the kill. I imagine in the Pleistocene, many aggressive encounters between carnivores, actual all-out fighting. If the short-faced bear found a dead bison, he most likely would be confronted by a group of saber-toothed cats feeding on the carcass. It would be size against numbers. The cats would stand and fight because of their advantage of three to one. Their long teeth also presented something of an obstacle. Let's remember that this is still a bear. It still has a massive, strong skull. It still has powerful limbs and feet that could swat at a cat and keep it at bay. Since most animals won't fight to the death, the experts agree on this fight's eventual outcome. If the bear got in one good swipe and, and really debilitated one of the saber-toothed cats, they would probably retreat. Or in other words, the bear would kick the cat's butt. 